2023 was an incredible year for astronomy, with many amazing events that dazzled and inspired us. We have witnessed the once-in-a-lifetime spectacle of Comet Nishimura, which brightened the sky in November and December, and the annular eclipse of December 26th, which created a ring of fire in the sky for parts of Africa and Asia. But as we say goodbye to 2023 and welcome 2024, we have even more reasons to be excited and curious about the sky. In this episode, we are going to look ahead and see what the sky has in store for us in the year 2024. Why should you watch this video? Because 2024 is going to be an amazing year for astronomy with many spectacular events that you don't want to miss. From eclipses to meteor showers, from occultations to conjunctions, from transits to comets, there is something for everyone to enjoy and learn from. How will we cover these events? We will also provide some background information and scientific facts to help you understand and appreciate these events better. So, without further ado, let's get started and see what 2024 has to offer for sky watchers. Eclipses are one of the most awe-inspiring phenomena in the sky. They occur when the sun, the moon, and the earth align in a certain way, creating a shadow that either blocks or dims the light of one of these celestial bodies. There are two types of eclipses, solar and lunar. Solar eclipses happen when the moon passes between the sun and the earth, casting a shadow on the earth's surface. Lunar eclipses happen when the earth passes between the sun and the moon, casting a shadow on the moon's surface. Eclipses are important for astronomy because they reveal a lot about the nature and motion of these objects, as well as their effects on the environment and life on Earth. They also offer a unique opportunity to study the sun's atmosphere, the moon's surface, and the Earth's climate. In 2024, we will have three eclipses, two solar and one lunar. The first one is a total solar eclipse on April 8th, which will be visible from North America, Central America, and parts of South America. This will be the first total solar eclipse in the continental U.S. since 2017, and the last one until 2045. The path of totality, where the sun will be completely blocked by the moon, will cross 15 states from Texas to Maine, as well as parts of Mexico and Canada. The duration of totality will vary from 1 minute and 17 seconds in Texas to 4 minutes and 28 seconds in Mexico. The best places to see this eclipse are Dallas, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Buffalo, and Montreal. To observe this eclipse safely, you will need special glasses or filters that block the harmful rays of the sun. Never look directly at the sun without proper protection, as this can cause permanent eye damage. The second one is a partial lunar eclipse on October 17th, which will be visible from most of Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. This will be a minor eclipse, as only a small part of the moon will enter the Earth's shadow. The maximum eclipse will occur at 1802 UTC, when 28.6% of the moon's diameter will be covered by the Earth's shadow. The best places to see this eclipse are Eastern Europe, the Middle East, India, and China. To observe this eclipse, you will not need any special equipment, as the moon will be safe to look at with the naked eye, binoculars, or telescopes. You will notice that the eclipsed part of the moon will appear darker and redder than the rest of the moon, due to the filtering and bending of the sun's light by the Earth's atmosphere. The third one is an annular solar eclipse on October 2nd, which will be visible from South America, Africa, and Antarctica. This will be a special type of solar eclipse, where the moon is too far from the Earth to completely cover the sun, leaving a ring of light around the moon's silhouette. This is also known as a ring of fire eclipse. The path of annularity, where the ring of fire will be visible, will cross Chile, Argentina, the Atlantic Ocean, Namibia, Botswana, South Africa, the Indian Ocean, and Antarctica. The duration of annularity will vary from 1 minute and 8 seconds in Chile to 4 minutes and 33 seconds in Antarctica. The best places to see this eclipse are Santiago, Buenos Aires, Cape Town, and the South Pole. To observe this eclipse safely, you will need the same precautions as for the total solar eclipse, as the ring of fire can still damage your eyes. 
These are the eclipses that we can look forward to in 2024. They are rare and beautiful events that will surely amaze and inspire us. But eclipses are not the only things that will light up the sky in 2024. There are also meteor showers, which are the next category that we will Meteor showers are another spectacular phenomenon in the sky. They occur when the Earth passes through the debris of comets or asteroids, which burn up in the atmosphere, creating bright streaks of light. Meteor showers are named after the constellations from which they appear to originate, such as the Perseids from Perseus or the Geminids from Gemini. They are important for astronomy because they provide information about the origin and composition of these comets and asteroids, as well as their interaction with the Earth's atmosphere. They also offer a chance to witness some of the fastest and brightest objects in the sky, as some meteors can reach speeds of up to 260,000 kilometers per h and shine brighter than the planets. In 2024, we will have several meteor showers, but we will focus on the three most prominent ones, the Quadrantids, the Perseids, and the Geminids. The first one is the Quadrantids, which will peak on January 3rd, 4, with a rate of about 120 meteors per hour. They are associated with an asteroid named 2003 EH1, which is thought to be a fragment of a comet that broke up centuries ago. They are best seen from the Northern Hemisphere, as they radiate from a point near the constellation of Boides, which is low in the sky for the Southern Hemisphere. The best time to see them is before dawn, when the radiant is highest in the sky. To observe them, you will not need any special equipment, as they will be visible with the naked eye. You will need a dark and clear sky, away from city lights and moonlight. You will also need some patience, as it may take some time to spot them. The second one is the Persids, which will peak on August 11th to 12th, with a rate of about 100 meteors per hour. The Perseids are associated with Comet Swift Tuttle, which orbits the Sun every 133 years and leaves a trail of dust and ice behind it. They are best seen from both hemispheres, as they radiate from a point near the constellation of Perseus, which is high in the sky for both hemispheres. The best time to see them is after midnight, when the radiant is highest in the sky. To observe them, you will need the same conditions as for the Quadrantids, but you will also have a bonus. The moon will be in a new phase, meaning that it will not interfere with the meteors. You will also have a chance to see some fireballs, which are very bright and long-lasting meteors. The third one is the Geminids, which will peak on December 13th to 14th, with a rate of about 150 meteors per hour. The Geminids are associated with an asteroid named 3200 Phaethon, which is unusual for a meteor shower, as most of them are linked to comets. They are best seen from both hemispheres, as they radiate from a point near the constellation of Gemini, which is high in the sky for both hemispheres. The best time to see them is after midnight, when the radiant is highest in the sky. To observe them, you will need the same conditions as for the Quadrantids and the Perseids, but you will also have a challenge. The moon will be in a full phase, meaning that it will be very bright and may wash out some of the meteors. You will need to find a spot where the moon is blocked by a building or a tree, or use a hood or a hat to shield your eyes from the moon. These are the meteor showers that we can look forward to in 2024. They are dazzling and thrilling events that will surely make us wonder and admire the beauty of the sky. But meteor showers are not the only things that will spice up the sky in 2024. There are also other events, which are the last category that we will explore. Other events are those that do not fit into the previous categories, but are still worth mentioning and observing. They include the movements and alignments of the planets, stars, and other celestial objects, such as occultations, conjunctions, transits, and comets. Occultations happen when one object passes in front of another, hiding it from view. Conjunctions happen when two or more objects appear close together in the sky, creating a striking contrast. Transits happen when a smaller object passes in front of a larger one, creating a silhouette. These events are important for astronomy because they show the dynamics and diversity of the solar system and beyond. 
they also offer a chance to observe some of the rarest and most spectacular sights in the sky, as some of these events only happen once in a lifetime or even longer. In 2024, we will have several other events, but we will focus on the three most notable ones. The occultation of Mars by the Moon, the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter, and the transit of Mercury. The first one is the occultation of Mars by the Moon on February 14th, which will be visible from most of North America, Central America, and parts of South America. This will be a romantic event, as the Moon will cover the red planet on Valentine's Day. The occultation will start at 1016 UTC and end at 1120 UTC, with the maximum occultation occurring at 1048 UTC. The best places to see this event are Mexico City, Los Angeles, Denver, Chicago, and Toronto. To observe this event, you will need a telescope or binoculars, as the Moon and Mars will be too close to distinguish with the naked eye. You will also need a clear and dark sky, away from city lights and moonlight. You will see the Moon gradually approach and cover Mars, then reveal it again after a few minutes. The second one is the conjunction of Venus and Jupiter on March 1st, which will be visible from most of the world. This will be a stunning event, as the two brightest planets in the sky will appear very close together, separated by only 0.2 degrees. The conjunction will occur at 18 o'clock UTC, when the planets will be low in the western sky after sunset. The best places to see this event are anywhere with a clear and unobstructed horizon, such as the ocean, the desert, or the mountains. To observe this event, you will not need any special equipment, as the planets will be easily visible with the naked eye. You will also see a thin crescent moon nearby, adding to the beauty of the scene. You will see the planets shine like two jewels in the twilight, with Venus being the brighter and lower one, and Jupiter being the fainter and higher one. The third one is the transit of Mercury on November 11th, which will be visible from most of Europe, Africa, Asia, and Australia. This will be a rare event, as Mercury will pass in front of the Sun, creating a tiny black dot on the solar disk. The transit will start at 1235 UTC and end at 1804 UTC with the maximum transit occurring at 1519 UTC. The best places to see this event are Eastern Europe, the Middle East, India, and China. To observe this event, you will need a telescope or binoculars with a solar filter, as the sun will be too bright and dangerous to look at without proper protection. You will also need a clear and sunny sky, as any clouds or haze will obscure the transit. You will see Mercury slowly cross the sun from left to right, taking about five and a half hours to complete the journey. These are the other events that we can look forward to in 2024. They are fascinating and marvelous events that will surely enrich and enlighten us. But these are not the only things that will happen in 2024. There are also some surprises and uncertainties, such as comets, asteroids, and solar flares that may or may not grace the sky in 2024. We will have to wait and see what the universe has in store for us. We have reached the end of our video, and we hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. We have seen that 2024 will be an incredible year for astronomy, with many amazing events that will dazzle and inspire us. We have also seen that astronomy is not only a science, but also an art, a culture, and a passion. Astronomy connects us with the past, the present, and the future, and with ourselves, each other, and the cosmos. We hope that this video will motivate you to explore more about astronomy and the wonders of the universe. Thank you for watching, and happy sky watching!